All right, number 18. Graph the equation. So to graph this equation, let's first of all, let's go ahead and find some important information. First, important information is the vertical asymptote. We take the, to find the vertical asymptote, we take the denominator, okay, and we set it equal to zero, and then we solve. So x equals negative three. That is our vertical asymptote. So at negative three, we draw in our vertical asymptote. All right, next, a horizontal asymptote. A horizontal asymptote, we have to look at the degree of the numerator and the degree of the denominator. Notice the degree of the numerator is one. The degree of the denominator is also one. Since m equals n, since they equal, the degrees equal, then y equals a over b. A is negative 2, the leading coefficient. B is the leading coefficient on the bottom, which is 1. So our horizontal asymptote is going to be y equals negative 2 divided by 1, which is negative 2. So at negative 2, we draw in our horizontal asymptote. Now, looking for any removable discontinuities. The factors do not cancel, so there are none. Finding the y-intercept. Finding the y-intercept, we plug 0 into the function. So we get negative 2 times 0 minus 2 over 0 plus 3. So 0 minus 2 is negative 2. Negative 2 times negative 2 is negative 4. Excuse me. Positive 4. <clears throat> 0 plus 3 is 3. So we're going to have 4 over 3. So our y-intercept is going to be at 0, comma, 4, thirds. So we could put that point on right now if we wanted to. Zero, four thirds, about right here. Okay. X-intercept. To find the x-intercept, we take the numerator and set it equal to zero. The factor in the numerator. The factor is x minus two. So that means that x equals two. So at x equals 2, that's an x-intercept. That's where the graph's going to cross. So when you draw it, you could plug it into your calculator. And I'll show you what that looks like in a moment. And actually, um, yeah, let's just, let's just go ahead and draw this for now. We're going to draw it along the horizontal, curving through these two points, and along the other asymptote. Okay, and so the question is, is there's another part to this equation, so where is that at? Let's take a look at the graph. When you plug it in, please make sure that you put the numerator in parentheses and you put the denominator in parentheses as well. And that's what it looks like. So we know the second part of the graph is going to be down here. So going back, the second part is going to be down here. Okay? And you could get some specific points off of your table and your calculator if you'd like. So the domain is going to go from negative infinity on the left. It's going to have an asymptote at negative 3. So we don't include negative 3 in the domain. Starting up on the other side of negative 3 and going to positive infinity. I 
hope this video helps you prepare for the test.